you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 3rd thursday the solemnity of uh, st francis let's begin this day with the blessings of god A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 10, verses 1 to 16. After this, Lord appointed 70 others and sent them on ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to his house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace shall rest on that person. But if not, it will return to you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborers deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick who are there and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. But Whenever you enter a town and they do not welcome you, go out into the, its street and say, Even the dust of your town that clings to our feet, we wipe off in protest against you. Yet know this, the kingdom of God has come near. I tell you, on that day, it will be more tolerable for Sodom than for that town. O to you, Sarazim, O to you, Bethsaida, for... If the deeds of power done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ash. But at the judgment, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? No, you will be brought down to Hades. Whoever listens to you, listens to me. And whoever rejects you, rejects me and whoever rejects me rejects the one who sent me the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ happy feast day my dear friends today we celebrate the feast of saint francis savior a spanish jesuit priest and great missionary whose missionary works cause a great flooring of the cause of the faith in the east indies in countries now in compassion, India, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Macau, Hong Kong, China, and so also Japan. For St. Francis lived during a very difficult time for the faith and the church of God. This is because at the time, the very heart of a Christian dom were besieged both inside and outside by its enemies, both the heretics heathens, pagans, and other enemies of God, and his church alike. Many of these uh, brave missionaries and uh, servants of God preached throughout Christendom, calling them to repent from their sins and uh, return to the faith in the Holy Mother Church. While many resisted and persecuted the missionaries, there were also many who were moved by the preachings and they returned to the one and uh, true faith. But at the same time, there were challenges and opportunities beyond what had been mentioned here. For that uh, time, advances in technology allowed the people of God for the very first time to explore the entire world. New worlds and places were discovered and this represented a great opportunity for the evangelization of the faith as it would not have been done before. St. Francis Xavier was sent as a part of the evangelization effort to spread the faith effort to bring the good news to many of those who have yet to hear it before. 
bringing the light to your people still living in darkness. All these are linked to the readings of this day. We heard from the Holy Scriptures, all of which talked about one thing, that is evangelization, the spreading of the good news to the world. Jesus told his disciples to bring forth the good news and preached it to the entire world, to the whole mankind, so that all peoples may hear and witness the truth of God's love and salvation. And thus, be stirred from their slumber to be awakened to walk and seek the Lord's saving grace. This is a mission which he charged the church with, and thus mission which the Lord entrusted to all of us, his faithful ones. What St. Francis Xavier and his fellow missionaries had done, then also expand the works of evangelization even further, carrying out the mission of our Lord Jesus Christ as he entrusted to his disciples. Yes, which is to spread the good news to all the nations and to baptize many nations and people in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which was exactly what since Francis Xavier had labored hard for. Yes, my brethren, was this not what our Lord Jesus had told his disciples to in the gospel today? Those whom he had sent to his preach his good news and those who had devoted themselves and their lives in the service of God and his people. He will not live alone, but he will grant them his blessings and power to carry out their mission successfully. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on this holy occasion of the Feast of the St. Francis, the pattern set of missions, let us all learn from what I have shared with you of the courage of the missionaries and the servants of God in preaching the good news of the gospel to the nations, not only to those who have error in their ways and walked away from the truth, but also to those who have not yet heard a single word of the good news of Christ. Let us all follow and walk in the footsteps of St. Francis Xavier, the patron saint of missions. God bless us all. Amen.